Charlotte Flow World Sports Show. I'm joined by two guests that play for USA Rugby. I'm here with Natalie Marquino. I am uh, currently a player for the Berkeley All Blues and a member of the 15s national team. Also, I have another player to my right. Um, I'm Sarah Shabbat. I play in Glendale, Colorado, and I am also a member of the women's 15s. So you guys get to go against each other in club games, but you get to go each other like on teammates. What's that been like for both of you? I'll let you take the first one. Uh, well, you know, I always prefer to have Shabbat as a teammate than an opponent. <laughs> if you see this girl run, she's uh, sort of brutal to run into. So it's been fun to play against her and learn how to evade her. But it's also great to have her as a teammate on the national team and to be able to play at the inter international level. Now, Sarah, what do you say you've learned by going against your teammate here and then being her teammate? Has that helped you like scout her and then be teammates with her? Uh, well, actually, with Natalie, I've learned to wave, mostly goodbye when she gets the ball. So I got real good at that. But, uh, no, I mean, Natalie is just one of those players that just makes everyone better. And that's what's really cool. And she keeps it light and great in the locker room and just a good leader. So you're saying you're a little bit slow and she's the speed over here? Uh, uh, I'm not saying that I'm slow, not necessarily. I'm just saying she's real fast. <laughs> fair, fair. Now, I guess to ask both of you, how did you get involved with playing rugby? How did it all start? Oh man, the short story is I got abducted by a couple of rugby players. I played Say basketball. Abducted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I played basketball in college and I had zero interest in rugby and they just showed up at my doorstep with a pair of cleats and a mouth guard and took me to practice against my will, no joke, and then taught me how to tackle and I loved the physicality of the game and I uh, just never looked back. Okay, that's interesting. And how did you get started, Sarah? Um, I was actually running track for Central Michigan and uh, during the time that we had the NCAs, we couldn't be at practice and I was going through the fairs and I just stopped and saw a video and I was like, whoa, I can do that. And then I just quit running track and just did this full time. You know what, I guess I'll ask both of you that this sport, it seems to be not a mainstream sport in America, it's starting to develop, especially on the women's level and youth level. Now, what do you think it takes to make this sport more of a main street sport? I mean, we're looking here at a sold out stadium. I guess you want to start it? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we're USA Rugby is doing a great job. It, we Right now we have this initiative called Give Her the Game, um, and basically it's focused on getting young girls to play the game. So I think that's a huge initiative that USA Rugby is taking to get more involvement. I was going to ask you that same, what it's going to take maybe to make USA Rugby more of a mainstream type of sport. Yeah, I think, well, along with the women's initiatives, there's also a youth program that's awesome. If people want to get involved at an earlier age, uh, there's definitely a lot of avenues that weren't available in the past. And now with the integration of Sevens Rugby into the Olympics, I think that the U.S. is a country where everyone rallies along, you know, a uh, gold medalist. And uh, both the men and women are looking to compete there, so I think that'll help with a lot of the publicity. And with 15s, I mean, this is a great event to be a part of, first sold out event, I think, uh, for the men's team and on our home turf, playing New Zealand. So they're doing the right things, uh, I think, to get people more interested about the game. Yeah, it must be electric just to have that extra 16th man per se to feed off the energy because with the sport growing, it's just good to have that, you know, just players can feed off that tonight and you're seeing it. Oh yeah. I, I've never been part of a game that intense here on our home turf. I mean, uh, we have a bit of a hard time getting people to come to the women's games because it's not as well known. And I think rugby in general in the U.S. is really small. Uh, so to see that everyone showed up for this one ma match is just really awesome. Yeah. Now, with you both playing club, it helps you play the game year round. Am I correct? That with USA, you're not playing as much. I mean, how has that really helped the USA product that you guys can be more competitive on the world level? Um, I think it just gives us opportunity to get reps because, wow, I felt like I was just screaming there. Um, <laughs> it, gives us, it gives us an opportunity to get those reps in. I mean, the women probably play half as much internationally as the men's 15s. Um, so it's really important. And plus, like, there's about six elite clubs, eight elite clubs in the U.S. So you're kind of finding that most of those pool players are migrating to those eight clubs, which is nice because we have the opportunity to train together. I want to thank you, too, for joining me. Now, is there some websites I can give to the fans out there to – find and get information on your teams. We want to put that out there so they can find you guys. Yeah, you can always go to usarugby.org. All of the information is there. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, there's USA Women Eagle um, on Twitter, as well as USA Rugby. Personally, Swiss Beats, what's up? Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? I missed it. <laughs> Swiss Beats, what's up? Check me out. Swiss, <laughs> like the country, beats with a Z. <laughs> now, how do we find you, Sarah, on the internet world? Just Shabbat. I'll pop up. No, there's not I'm many not. of you. <laughs> yeah, there's not very many of me, thank God, probably. Um, I, uh, I'm not a tweeter. A Twitter. Yeah, obviously, because you messed a it up. Tweeter, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I actually just learned how to do it at Nations Cup this summer. Okay, so. that's good. You learn all about the hashtag tonight, I guess. It's popping up everywhere. I mean, we had a small celebration when she had her first tweet. That's how bad she is at tweeting. So, so you officially are on Twitter then? <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh. I think it's at Sarah Shabbat. Yeah, at Sarah Shabbat. Uh, she knows more than you, I guess. <laughs> is she your manager too on the side? <laughs> yeah, she puts all my personal appearances. Yeah. We don't make a lot of money at, as rugby players, so anything you can do extra. Sure, we'll, we'll give it a shot with us. We'll, we'll put you out there. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank these nice young ladies for joining me.